Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. We're back with another episode of Not Your Average Podcast. Of course, it's me, the most energetic entertainer. I got some superstars in the building. The girl code. Ah! He said he the most energetic. We the most energetic. So we about to see. Oh, really we in energetic. there just like that. Then we in there. First and foremost, anytime I meet people from New York, before we even talk about y'all hits, y'all brand new debut EP, y'all from New York. Facts. Yeah. Now, now, now what part of New York? Brooklyn. Now, I've only been to New York once, right? And when I went to Brooklyn, it was kind of like two sides. It was a nice part where the water was at. Then I started walking a little bit further. Hey, 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 I need to go back. I need to go back to the other side. So what what side of Brooklyn are y'all from? No, you walk past Farragut first. That's right. Probably. Probably. He saw when it started getting a little gutter look. I had to get up out of there. I was on the city bike. I had to get up out of there. So talk about... How much has New York impacted and influenced you guys' musical career? Shoot, I say being from, well, when you were thoroughbred, like born and raised in a place, I feel like it's really different. Mm -hmm. Being from Brooklyn, from your style to the Timbs to the bamboo earrings, Mm -hmm. and what you see and what's going on in the environment definitely teach you the grittiness you know everybody when they talk about brooklyn they say gritty like i feel like yeah. we all gritty ain't gritty around with sadiddy so you see how that goes you feel me already getting some freestyles going speaking of freestyles i mean you guys have been with sway i mean you guys performing hot 97 i mean can y'all talk about just the success because y'all not no average oh we just decided to rap one day girl we gonna go out I mean, y'all like real deal superstars here. Of course, we appreciate y'all for coming through. So, being on Sway, I mean, did y'all have the answers? I mean, how was that working with Sway? First of all, we had the answers. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Feel me? We we met Sway in the studio in DITC Studios or whatever. Shout out Sway. We just really like grew a bond with him. Like that's Uncle Sway, man. Mm, That's all right. Uncle Sway. We we love Uncle Sway. He um he did like he do what he could do to you know for me. Like, we went on overtime. Then when they studio opened back up, we went on that, that other joint or whatever. Sway in the morning. And it's crazy because Rico was on for an interview. We ain't know he was going to sneak the five, what they call it? The five beats um, of death, five. Yeah, five of fingers death. of death. Yeah, but yeah. we didn't know he was going to sneak that in. Legendary. On like, oh, my God. Yes. Legendary. Was like, Thank you, Sway. Shout out to him. That's hard. So, speaking of Wait, legends. Wait, Heather and B. Shout out Heather yes, B, man. And other sis and uh, with the way. <laughs> so being from New York, right? Music up there, to me personally, because I'm from Atlanta, born and raised, Southside, College Pride, right? Mm-hmm. And it's only a couple of places. Like, I, before I seen your shirt, before I knew who you guys was, when I, if I had a blindfold on, right, and I heard you guys' voice, I could tell you guys are from New York. That's now, what part, I don't know. And I could tell, like, you know, musically, New York was the one that really got hip-hop going. Right. So what is the Girl Code's top three New York rappers? Ooh, well, I'm going to start by Reese. Everybody knows me who knows me know that my number one is the Notorious B.I.G. Yeah, big time. M- my second, um, I would say... You know, my list changes the older I get. Yo. Second is That's respectable. That's respectable. Second is Fab. And third is Jada Kiss. Mm. Simple. Yeah. All right. So, you said Brooklyn or? Any, anybody. Brooklyn, New York, right? Bronx, <laughs> oh, right. Harlem, it yeah, don't matter. For me, y'all know my top one is Remy Ma. For sure. Um, The Girl Cole and Busy Banks. All right. Now, okay, let's let's try to do like a little versus thing real quick because I love y'all energy. It's, it's like I'm in here with my sister. So, let's do that. So, yeah. look. Who's going against a versus battle with Big? With Big? I don't know, but y'all the Is real super big? big B I G. Um, actually, I think I might Hove know. Gonna have to that's what I was about Hove to say. That's to exactly go. what I was about to say. Hove, that's it. Ain't nobody else. Hove. Un- unless, unless to 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 sweep the rug under the dust, then Biggie and Tupac go together mm. so we could be on some alright. You know? That's a little bit too overpowered, nah, though. Like Big they, and Pac. But they're going to be cool when they do it. Nah, that you, you do Pac with, like, Dre or Diddy or some shit like that. <laughs> See, that's the same thing. Though. Technically, technically, technically. But Pac and Big, like, nah, y'all know Big on win, though. That's, Big that's, and Hove definitely got it. Like, we, we, yeah, like, it got to be like that. It can't be biased to where it's, like, Tupac and Biggie because, you know, facts. whatever the vibe facts. was. Facts, facts, facts. So, Jadakiss. Who's Jadakiss going against? 
Me no me. We already know that. <laughs> no, no, they already went against. Yeah, okay. Dipset. Did you guys? How, what were you guys' opinions on that versus? Because to me, that was the most. Besides the Gucci and the Jeezy one, that Jada kiss and the logic. That was just a lot. Yeah, and I wasn't legendary. even from that New York, but I was sitting on Instagram live like, boy, they about to get into it in there. Oh, that was like, legendary. That's the, that's for the culture, though. You it see, was. They hugged and I like, felt like I was that. from that's New York. I was like, Mom, go get my Tims, yo. Yeah. I was feeling it. I was feeling yeah, it. Yeah, like, what did that mean Tim, watching Ma? the verses to y'all? Nah, a ver- that was fire. I ain't going to lie. I was like, oh, he made, oh, <laughs> yo, I did. Mind you, I love verses. I'm not going to lie. I'm a biased New Yorker. So the verses before then, like I was watching, tuned in, but it wasn't really like interesting mm-hmm, to me. Mm-hmm. But when I seen like the lock and then dip set on the stage and then the humor behind it, you actually see like what an MC is. The locks, they really rapping, no mm-hmm. beats, no instrumentals cut it off no rapping over they Facts. music instrumental Facts. like it was real what hip hop is exactly yeah. And, you know, we definitely met Styles P, though. Shout out to Styles P. We still shout waiting out. to see you, Jaina. Shout yeah. out, shout out, shout out. So, let's talk about it. How did you guys get going with rap? Was it like, girl, I like your style. Girl, I can rap. Let's do it together. Girl, you got them shades on. And, girl, my earrings are a little bit bigger than yours. Let's like, get together. I'm crying. How was it? Because a lot of people had their own stories. It's like, bro, how did y'all come together? And y'all yeah. came with me, it's like y'all sisters, so it's like. We are. How did y'all yeah, come together? Before this rap stuff, it was us. Oh, my bad. Before this rap stuff, it was us. Like, it uh-huh. was Big and Diddy, feel me? If you know, you know. Right. This was the duo regardless. We were selling food together, selling snacks together, hustling Excellent. together, doing everything together. And then one day we just said, we done did everything under the sun. Let's try to do this together. Crazy. Right. And then we cried. We it did it. And then it went viral. So your your first song, your first hit, right? When y'all put it out and you recorded it in the studio, was you like, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Pack it up. This first the one. of all, that you know, wait, you said first hit or first song. First song, first hit, either because, one. Because baby boy, our <laughs> first song was funny. How did that come about? Did y'all write? Did you freestyle? Nah, it's crazy because right, like. You know, everybody go through shit. So it was like, I had the hook ready. I had yeah. to be in the hook ready. It was like, come on, we go right now. Verse. It, w- it wasn't even back and forth yet. Really? We didn't do back and forth. We did verse, verse. That's crazy. So, yeah, our first song. Mm. I'm going to let y'all listen to it. Oh, I was day. about to give it. I call it, they say it's a long title, but I call it Fuck You and That Bitch Little Nigga, She Could Keep You. <laughs> and it's really <laughs> called Keep You, guys. But I call it Fuck You and That Bitch Little Nigga, She Could Keep You. Did y'all have, did y'all have some of it in y'all notes, or how was that? No, we went to the studio that day. And, and just locked yeah, in. Yeah, we made it that day. And just locked he, in. Yeah. Because at that point, Shaw Bigger was trying to quit on me on the music. Yeah. And I was like, nah, like, I got to drag her to the studio with me. Or whenever she go, I'm going to drag myself to her mm-hmm. session so we could keep each other right, motivated. We to Mill Basin. Facts. Yeah, she took me all the way to Mill Basin, y'all. I didn't even know Mill Basin was in Brooklyn, y'all. Hell yeah. So for the people who are not from New York, what is Mill Basin? Mill I don't even know. Mill Basin is uh-huh. one of the good areas that you was like, oh, this, this is nice. Where yeah. the, the water at? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Long Island. okay got and you. then when you went Mill Basin, but then you cross over, that's when you went Flatbush. Mm. Now it's when it gets See, real I was about sticky. To say Coney. No. Oh, <laughs> but far, but you look. could go. The other way, and when you go oh, to other Coney way, over there. Look. Okay, see, Mr. you learn this stuff already. Yeah. yeah, you from there. That's what it's about. That's so. how big it is. That's nah, crazy. but after keep you, I mean, we did some. I don't know if the freestyle came or it was dangerous. Shit get dangerous. Oh, she trying. She trying to do that right like, now. We had a so called danger. Look, we went through. See, y'all don't even know. We went through some steps before we got here. They don't understand. So it, it was a long process. Y'all it didn't just was. wake up and be superstars, even Keep though y'all are. And dangerous was just. We was like, we had to find our sound. I'm not gonna lie. I like we dangerous to do though. together. Yeah. I like dangerous. She still like dangerous. Yeah, I like dangerous. Why do you like dangerous so much? I like dangerous because, yo, y'all should have heard her. Y'all should have heard her. Like, y'all should have heard me, but y'all should have heard her. Like, I was like, oh, I like that one. I like that. It was a vibe. It was a vibe. That's fine. She was trying to tell y'all how dangerous she is. Don't play with her. That's fine. So, first off, look, if y- I wish y'all could be in this room with right, with me right now with them because I just feel so comfortable in that home with y'all. That's, that's, that's what interviews supposed to be. You that's feel me? It's supposed to be comfortable. So, talk about when you guys do shows, right? Because y'all have been on some really big stages. What is you guys' energy on stage? Are you like, 
you know, turned up? Are you First partying all, just for the ladies? You getting a little gangster for the fellas? Listen, whether it's 10 or 10 million, we is body in the stage. Fire. Gangster. We done performed in front of two people. We done performed in front of hundreds of people. Like, it's going to be a vibe regardless because at the end of the day, we are us. So... We got to make a movie. Facts. We got to put on a show. Every time. And that's what y'all going to get. Every time. Facts. I feel like the word that you use for it, like, it's cliche, but now that we in it, like, electrifying, like, that's really mm, a thing. I like, love that word. Yeah, like, I it's really a word. thing, like, because we love having fun. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's what it is. We're creatives that love having fun. So we just go on the stage and have fun. And, and that's what it's about. We see, like, everybody having fun with us. And we make and we make people have fun too. You know the people that be in the audience. Try to be booked. Yeah. Oh, don't get me started. We make people don't get have me fun. Started. We will look at somebody like, yo, put your hands in Why the you ears. Why you being lame? Put their hands in their ears. And see, I host Mind a lot you. of parties and stuff in like in clubs in Atlanta. So what mm-hmm. I do, especially on the college scene, I'm like, if you got monkey pox, don't say nothing. Everybody be like, ah, 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 just start talking. She's like, why are exactly. you being lame? You in here with your friends and stuff. Exactly. Like, but you got to say something time. like that for somebody to get. Let's go like, make them say it. Exactly. That's, corny. that's why we be having fun with each other. But that's why I know they be seeing it on the stage. Exactly. It's like, that's what it's about. That V word right there would take you yeah. miles. So, All right. The V word really will t- take you that V word. Yeah. Not the other V word. <laughs> the vibes. Both. Yeah. Both vibes only. Both V words. Because <laughs> all V's is taking you just. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Violins. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the whole nine. Nah. So, musically, I got to say, I mean, you guys tone your charisma. When you walk in on the beats, you're just like, yo, like, they got some swag to them. Thank I mean, you. the last person who I, I like, a group I listened to like that, I was like, Hold on, run that back real quick. This is like the City Girls. You feel me? I, I feel like it's been a it's been a gap, and especially with y'all being from New York, it's like y'all are really represented for a lot of you know mm-hmm. little girls who may talk how y'all talk, dress how y'all dress, just yeah. have that certain swag. Like I said, like people from New York, it's like I never met a timid person from New York. I never met a person from New York who couldn't dress. Well, one person, but everybody else. I'm you know what I'm saying? Girl. <laughs> Cause no. I got a stylist. No. <laughs> I got a stylist. No, but my shit could dress though. But I know what type of dress he. Has. You feel me? You just be like, yo, that's 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 wild. So yeah. talk about how much your music has transcended with the area that you guys are from. Well, based off of this EP, let's talk about what y'all have heard. Facts. Which is Sha Bigger and High Sadiddy, our newest EP or mm-hmm. whatever. Because mm-hmm. it's a lot of music that's you know in a vault that people don't get to hear. Exactly. However, right. However, all right, all right. You see where we from? I know for a fact that the whole TLC wasn't from where we was from, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. like I feel like it's a part of the hip hop culture. Exactly. And then, like we said, Biggie, Remy, you know, all of these people that mm-hmm. came before us. Mm-hmm. Let's say we use all of the inspiration from all of these people and then put it into our music like from our style that's why i said tlc Mm because we get that comparison a lot like as far as girl groups like like so and pepper tlc Mm -hmm. even mob deep yeah (laughs) so i love it and we just try to keep that in mind too when we create and even though we don't really have to i feel like it does come natural like Mm -hmm. we do what we do and then people be like oh yo y'all sound like this yeah and it's just like we grew up here like this is the type of shit you was hearing when the cars was passing by Mm -hmm. or you was in the store Mm -hmm. or couldn't and run just playing, you like oh, right one oh six in pop. Yeah, like, we couldn't run from exactly. our culture. So exactly. instead of doing other stuff from other places, we just stuck to what we knew. That's fire. Mm-hmm. So I mean, for everybody who's watching, all your fans is watching. What's next for you guys? Like, what can they be expecting as soon as y'all leave Hot One Hundred Seven Nine today? Oh wait, I'm leaking. I'm leaking. Drop At the end of the day, something exclusive. At the end of the day, you will see Girl Code on Wild and Out. Make what? sure y'all tune in. The girls are going to be on there getting crazy, and we cutting everybody ass, so don't ever come for me what? or my mother. And if y'all see this before the time that you see the Wild and Out thing, y'all know I don't joke, I don't play around. So once y'all see my face get serious, y'all know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm jumping in. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we got to talk about that Wild and Out. I mean, you, you really got to be somebody to be featured on there. That's crazy. Do you? What? Y'all don't. Y'all must not know, especially down south, like Nick Cannon, Wild and Out. And they, you know, they shoot it here right. in Georgia. So. Hello. You feel Hello. me? Georgia. So it's like maybe the biggest thing. Like, it was really, and I would say it was our 106 in Park, but it just 
brought entertainment and comedy and rap all together. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So talk about being there. How was the chemistry? Who was on you guys' we episode? We going tomorrow. Oh, going tomorrow. Yes. oh, I thought y'all had all. No, we film. leaking it for you. That's that exclusivity. That's not what we leave on those other points. I wish, I wish we had a Funk Flex drop or something right here. It's, it's bombs. Right. We could do it ourselves. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I got my sisters in the building with me. Ah! It don't stop right here. Girl code. I mean, Obama said he's trying to sit down with him, and we got a chance to get an exclusive interview. Y'all got any shout-outs before we get up out of here tonight? First of all, shout-outs to my mom. Got our moms. Shout-outs to my baby. Shout-out, baby. Shout-outs to the whole TGC. Shout-out, shout-out, shout-out. No, Beja. Dolly, yeah. chill, it's on the earrings. Trill, trill, say hi, bigger never left. Y'all know the vibes. D I T C. Shout out to Joe Biden. I still want a dinner because I heard you was taking people out. <laughs> and shout out to my mommy too, and my daddy, and my little dog. Even though he won't understand this, but hey, doggy. <laughs> Hey. And first of all, shout out to a right granddaddy who get a first start in a 15 month for the ch- um check. <laughs> we need because that. We like look at us, y'all. Like, why would you not want us to be your grandma? <laughs> <laughs> look, hands down, this has been my favorite interview. Oh. So make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel for more exactly. content. Once again, it's me, Manny Supreme, the most energetic entertainer with Hot 107.9 and the Girl Code. Hello. I'm Shy Big I'm Heisa Diddy. And, and we, we the Girl Code. And we out. Y'all can follow us on everything. You did not just do that, right? No. Y'all can follow us on everything at T H E G I R L L C O D E E. Don't forget the two L's. Never forget the two E's. I love that. Just like that, we out.